Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Luxor Marketing and today we're going to continue our website uh, redesign process. So let's go to the case study page. Now I am in between on whether or not I like how this is set up actually, so uh, bear with me as I show you some of the differences between the old one. Now obviously there's a lot of limitations with the old site because of the fact that it was on Squarespace. Um, but let's dive into how we actually change the case studies page. So here, if you go to all results, you can see that they are actually PDFs. Um, there's, not, there's nothing that's actually indexable by search engines. And this is something that I struggled with because all these PDFs, they're great. But in terms of the index by Google and having actual content there, um, it falls short. Also, the way this page is laid out, you can't filter by anything. Um, it's not great. Here, as we continue to add on more case studies, you'll have more filters. So, okay, if you only want to look at SEO, you can click on whichever one it may be. There's no local SEO. If you want social media, there you go. If you want our ads case studies, there you go. If you want SEO, there you go. So, it's really clear how you can get to certain case studies. If you're interested in SEO, then you click there and you can see some of our past work. Now, this page I've experimented with just keeping it one color or changing it. Um, we're actually A-B testing which one's more effective. I like this, different colors, but it could be a little bit sore on the eyes potentially. Uh, they all are related to the brand and their brand color. And I think it spices the site up a little bit, but that's too weird to determine. Now on the actual case study page. This is an applicable for here because we don't actually have a case study page. This is what I'm talking about in terms of it being indexable. We have all of this stuff that's able to be indexed by Google. Each, each has their own specific landing page that we can also drive traffic to. So here you have a picture of the client product, industry, the services we provided, and you can also click out to their website. Brandon is dedicated, smart, and pleasure to work with, etc. You can download the PDF right here, which will take you to the PDF that you have on the old site. So you can still get to that PDF, which is more in depth and can take you through everything that we did. But here you get a rundown of the scoop, what their marketing goals were, what our approach was, and some of the results. Again, you can download the PDF here and it funnels right into that get a free consultation, which is something that we're driving to. That's our main goal of the website. So you see everything leads to the get a free consultation. And that's about it for how to get case studies onto your website and how you can position them properly so that you can start generating more leads and ultimately more conversions for your business.